Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's totally been a while, but I'm back and I'm back to share with you guys a new look with the new eyeshadow palette by Maybelline called Lemonade Craze. Everyone has been raving about this palette since the winter. I follow Trend Mood on Instagram and I've been looking at all these pages and they all said it was going to be released in June. I was so sad that I had to wait such a long time, but it was totally worth the wait. I got this off Amazon for $10.99 and it came in two days with Amazon Prime. Um, it sells in Target and Walmart also for $10.99. Rite Aid has it for um, $9.98, I believe the price is. And then I noticed that at Ulta yesterday when I went, it was $13.99, so I was happy I got it off Amazon. The colors are so perfect. So perfect. And I know that you can do so many looks with this. It's such a pretty summer palette. You can, can be a full palette too with these dark colors right here. What I like most about this palette though is on the back it comes with three different looks that you can use to use the eyeshadow palette. There's a lemonade pop, a pink lemonade, and a peach lemonade. And lucky for you guys, I'm doing this video and I'm going to be using all three looks of this palette. And I want to show you guys what it's like. I haven't tested it, swatched it, anything yet, but just by the colors, it looks so pigmented and so glittery, the glitters. I can't wait to play with this. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get straight into it. So I primed my eyelids with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm going to start with look one, which is called Lemonade Pop. It comes with four simple steps. It's not hard at all to follow. Um, the first step will be apply sunnies from lid to brow bone. So I'm going to use I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics 24. It's a blending brush, 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 <laughs> and I'm going to use Sunny's, which is right there. I'm gonna use my little pocket mirror that I take with me everywhere. Everything blends really smoothly, and it's extremely pigmented. Like, you can see the difference that there is color on this eye and on this eye. And this is what I'm saying. Like, for a drugstore palette, a lot of people complain and they have their doubts whether it will be pigmented, whether it will, like, come off high-end like the Sephora palettes. But so far, this is looking good. Okay, moving on to step number two. Blend old-fashioned to crease and line. This one right here. Blend onto crease. And the line so I'm going to be using my eco tools blending brush guys these brushes are fantastic they're drugstore I know but they're fantastic I use them so often it's just really easy to work with the product and blend it blends effortlessly this so far looks good as is next step Shade Lemonade Craze all over the lid. Oh, the yellow one. This is the actual color that stood out to me the most. I couldn't wait to play with it. I'm going to go back with my 24 BH Cosmetics Blending Brush. Okay, guys, I've never used yellow at all anywhere on my face, so this is going to be the first time. I don't know how this will look, but we'll see. It's actually not that bright yellow as I thought it was going to be, but this is looking really The only thing I do find myself doing is like constantly dipping back and forth into the palette, which I don't mind as long as the colors and the eyeshadows blend effortlessly. This is actually looking fantastic so far. kind of just want to go back and make it pop a little more. And then to finish it off, it says apply the main squeeze to inner corner. Apply the main squeeze. Apply main squeeze to the inner corner, which is this beautiful gold color. Why is the light not working with me today? There we go. It's such a beautiful gold color. So I'm going to use my brush from Eco Tools. It's a tiny little one. It works for inner corner the best. This just looks fantastic. And I think I'm not going to even play with eyeliner for this look. I think that because the colors pop so much, I don't want to use the eyeliner to kind of block it down a little bit. So I'm just going to use... Mascara. My sister recently bought me the Brooklyn and Bailey mascara. 
honestly, I think my new favorite mascara ever. It just separates my lashes. It's lengthening and it makes my lashes look long, makes them look more fuller. This is the final look. I think that the mascara really adds a nice touch to it. I mean, you can go in with eyeliner if you really want that bold look. I just feel like the eyeshadows look so nice naturally. So I feel like a little mascara will just make it plump your eyes and make them look bigger. I think that this look kind of really pairs well with a gold lip gloss or a light brown nude. But I'm going to go in and apply my Chanel lip gloss in gold gloss. I think that this will really complement my eyeshadow and there you have it for the first look on the palette now moving on to the next Number look two is the pink lemonade look it's to apply first step is to apply berry ice from the lid to the brow bone so berry ice is this light pink color right here I'm gonna go again with my BH 24 brush I kind of what I like to do is just to get a little bit of the color off I will brush it off on tissue paper just to get that color excess color off so it doesn't mix in, especially when I'm doing quick looks like this and I'm trying to change the eyeshadows. This one's like a light, subtle pink. It serves a great purpose for like that natural look. Next step says to blend old fashioned into the crease. So back with this nice brown color. It's probably my favorite on the palette. I'm gonna go back with my blending brush by Eco Tools. I'm gonna blend that into the crease only. Okay. Step three, shade the center lid with ice pop. Ooh. My sister loves this color. The first time, the first second I opened the palette and she's seen it, it was her favorite. I never play with pinks, so this will be the first time I ever play with pink eyeshadow ever on me. I always do nude colors, so we'll see how this goes. This is really a first everything on the center of the lid. Oh boy, here we go. Right, this shadow is not a, this eyeshadow is not as dark as it looks, but I feel like I have to keep going back with it and just keep reapplying it just so it can pop a little. You would think because it's darker it would pick up a lot, but this one's not. But I don't mind to go back and forth and play with it. Plus, I like lighter eyeshadows anyway, so. For me, this works. Apply Strawberry Lemonade from the inner corner to the center. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Kind of like a rose gold tone to it. There we go. See, I feel like the glitters pick up a lot on the brush, but it's like the mattes that don't. Which, like I said, isn't necessarily a bad thing. I like light colors, so I don't mind. This is the final look with just the eyeshadows. For this look, I feel like I would want to apply eyeliner only because I feel like it would look weird on me if I don't. So I'm just going to go in quickly with the Kat Von D liner. And I'm just going to make a quick wing for you guys and then I'll come back. So this is the look with the eyeliner and the mascara. I just feel like that the eyeliner, it makes my eyes pop more. You can still see that pop of pink as well. So it does bring out the eyes a lot. So yeah, I'm still really liking the yellow look. But I am really excited to do look number three because it's that like coral color look. And I love corals. So I'm looking forward to that one. This look I love just as well, but I need to pair it with the eyeliner. So I want to see with the third look if I have to pair it with eyeliner or if I can just do mascara because I love a more natural look too. This is a more of like a nightlife look. So we'll see how it goes. And finally, last but not least, we're going to go with look number three, which is called Peach Lemonade, which sounds fantastic. Um, we're going to apply Sherbet from Lid to Brow Bone. 
I feel like everyone always pronounces that word wrong, like sherbet, sherbet. Everyone always says something different. So let's go with sherbet. Uh, let's brow bone. Again, I'm going to go in with my blending brush. I still have a little bit of pink on it. Probably a good idea to get rid of that. Okay, so sherbet is this really, really nice, like, beige-looking color. So apply it all over the lid. All right, step number two, blend sweet tea into crease. My favorite drink, sweet tea, okay. Which is like this light brown colored eyeshadow, very pretty. These are the kinds of brown nude colors that I use all the time, all summer long. This brown is just very subtle. It literally looks like my bronzer. Step three, shade coral punch to center lid and lower lash line. Coral punch is this peachy color, coral color right there. Next step, apply citrus into the inner corner. Citrus is this bottom one right here. I feel like with this look, I'm going to go in with Old Fashioned and I'm just going to kind of darken my line, make it look like I'm wearing eyeliner just with eyeshadows, just to make it bolder. Now I'm going to use my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I like this mascara too. It's also one of my favorites. It's just very bold. And there you have it. So to finish off this look, I think that a nice nude gloss would go very well with it. So I'm going to use my NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie just to top it off. Because I don't want to take away the look from the eyeshadow. That's more of like my main goal with this palette. I feel like my favorite one was probably the first one. I normally don't do yellows at all. I just feel like it was a bold, it was a different change for me, and I feel like it complemented my eyes very nicely, so this is def so that's definitely one of my favorites. Overall, with this eyeshadow palette, I want to say that I'm very impressed for a drugstore brand eyeshadow palette. I'm very impressed. It's quite pigmented. The glitters are very pigmented. Only problem I had really was with this darker pink because I felt like I have to go in. But I feel like that's with all of the mattes in this palette. You just got to keep going in. It depends on what you like. If you're a more natural looking eyeshadow person like I do, I always go for the lighter, light brown nude colors. I feel like then the one dip is perfect for you if you want that bolder look, especially using this pink with Ice Pop. I feel like you should go in three, four times to get that color. But I definitely recommend purchasing this palette. It took me by surprise, honestly. The colors are just very pretty. I feel like it kind of coincides with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes because the colors are so bold and different. But yeah, it's pretty affordable. I think that it did a great job with the packaging. The packaging was so cute, I thought. Just the yellow, everything, it just looked so appealing. And I really like that it comes with the three different looks on the back. So like, let's say you really don't know what look to go with, follow one of these. I think that it's perfect. And it lets you get use of all the colors in the palette, which I like as well. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you do decide to purchase the Lemonade Craze palette by Maybelline, definitely let me know. Tag me in the comments if you decide to do some looks with it. Tell me what colors you use, and I definitely try it on myself. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at my next video. Bye, guys.